Now let's expand a little bit on configurations by taking a look at assembly configurations. Now here we have the shock assembly oven that we used in an earlier chapter. It's a very simple assembly that's comprised of two parts. Now we added mates to these to allow the shock to go to its maximum minimum travel. But what if we wanted configurations to position that correctly? For instance, if you have an assembly of all the moving parts, you might want to limit the movement of the part manually, but you might want configurations to show maybe the full compression and full extension of the shock. So let's go ahead and go to our configurations tab, right click, and add a configuration. In this case, we're going to call this one compressed. Let's go ahead and add one more, call this one extended. Now, to get an idea of this, let's go ahead and drag it to its max travel up, go to evaluate, and measure the distance. Let's go ahead and measure the distance from this face to this face. Now, that's currently set to 10 inches, but let's go ahead and change our units to millimeters, since that's the unit of the file. It's set to 255 millimeters. Let's go ahead and drag it down and remeasure. Now, in this case, it's 55 millimeters. So we have a 200 millimeter travel and a distance of 55 millimeters between these two edges. So let's go ahead back to our assembly tab and let's add a new mate. We'll select this face and this face and drag down into the distance section. We're gonna go ahead and mate it at 55 millimeters and say okay. Now it's okay because this is the extended configuration, but really what we're gonna go ahead and go to is expand our mates, right click on distance and configure feature. So here we have all three configurations listed, compressed, default, and extended. And if we use the drop down next to distance one, we can expand that and have complete control over it. So the compressed distance will be 55, extended will make to 255, and for default, we'll go ahead and just set it somewhere in the middle at 155. Let's go ahead and say okay, go back to our configurations tab, and go between all these configurations. So compressed takes it all the way down, extended takes it all the way up, and default takes it right in the middle. So this is a great way to use configurations to help position components. Any dimension that you create in a mate, you'll be able to drive inside of a configuration. But that's not all you can do. We've already talked about display states, but configurations and assemblies are a great way to use display states. You can add specific materials to specific models inside of each configuration, but you can also do more. Now let's go ahead and inside of our configuration, in this case default, let's go ahead and suppress one of these components. If we go to another configuration, you see that it's brought back. So this is a great way that you can also hide and show certain components in your assembly. For instance, if we had a different shock top or a different valve or some other different components on this body, we could show or hide them in certain configurations. For more complicated assemblies, it makes a whole lot of sense. For a simple assembly like this, it doesn't really buy us much.